Hello, my name is Taewon. In this video, I will show you how to make a, a database secure or how to secure your access database. I, I already complete one, which is by set property. When I open it and go straight to my navigation form, I disable the access special key like F11 or Alternate F11. F11 is special key to open the database. And I disable all the menu bar, shortcut menu, full menu, and I also disable the bypass key. Bypass key is you pull the chip key and then you double click on the file. You see, I hold it, I double click it and it's nothing happened it just goes straight to the navigation form we didn't go to the display this one i i secure my uh, database but when i gonna edit something i make it available for me i go to admin page i set property and then i enable all the property click run or enable bypass key only or I set some kind of like a back door for me to go back and uh, enable all property I, I put in under the zero here I double click here you see and pop up the anti password I put uh, my password in shape F64 ok and click ok now let's go open the form or set pop set property form and then I click run it. You see when I click run is property all enable successful and you can see all the the ribbon menus come back and have to exit first and now I open again. In this video we show you how to secure your database like the one I have. I have the another copy. Normally, when you open the Microsoft Access file, you open it without anything, without setting any property. You will see your all uh, database table, form, and module. And you can see all the toolbar. They call this full uh, menu. And first thing. I will go click on this uh, customize quick uh, access to bar uh, you can sit here to display the form uh, when you open it I want to read display the navigation form and you see this one use access special key or uh, this pay navigation pane all check it full menu shortcut menu all check is mean uh, you can see all now when I open it uh, the shortcut is working you can see disable view we want to secure all this for the user we don't want them to see all the code or they can go design view they can see all the code here we don't want them to see all this code we want to secure all this in this video I will use the uh, VBA code to set a uh, disable enable the property uh, including the uh, enable bypass key or disable bypass key okay. I have the function created already on my video which is test is already The first we can create the public function set properties and under module we set uh, the change the name to set property module set property and string pop name as string and var pop time as warren var pop value as warren as integer when error on error go to error set properties dim dps 
we can delete here we don't want it uh, DeemDB as a database or oh, pop as a property and set DB dot properties string pop name equal while pop value and set property equal to two set property is nothing exit set property exit functions set error properties if error 3270 then this error 3270 is mean property not found and then the set pop I just add the O in here equal db create properties yeah parenthesis string pop name and var pop var pop time comma var pop value close parenthesis db dot property dot append the pop this this code is we append this function this code to the uh, Microsoft uh, access library to this file because it say set db to current database and error set property equal to for message runtime error number and the uh, error description this one at uh, exit property in if and in function we use this function in properties a uh, set property uh, we can create uh, the next function we need is we create another public function public function enable set properties and on error go to this error and then go to this error here is message box error dot description in uh, exit function if it's not error now we do the uh, do command dot show to bar ribbons act to bar yes because you enable and this command is ribbon to bar ribbon to bar is this one this all in here is ribbon to bar enable function is show yes and the set property is from the function up here set property and now the next one set property and uh, double quote start up show database window uh, uh, comma db boolean and two set to two is done this function property value is true property type is boolean db boolean the show database window is mean here all the table all the form here we call like a database window we wanna enable here and the next one set startup show status bar or in two next one allow full menu to uh, this this one allow special key like F11 to show the database window set to true and plus F11 uh, the next one allow bypass key which is uh, you use a chip and then double click on file and then you uh, automatic uh, open your uh, database window you can edit it allow shortcut menu to allow to bar chain to allow break in code to and exit function if no error this one called enable set property we create another function public function disable set property we copy the whole thing up here and then we paste it here same function but we change from 2 to 4 
because we want to disable all this uh, function, uh, these properties, we change all properties to false. It will now the first one show to bar ribbon, add to bar no. We we want to disable the uh, ribbon menu. Exit function same. Uh, we create enable property function, disable property function. Later on, we will call this function on our code. 